Well, good afternoon, YouTube. I am here with you on this Saturday afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be going to my daughter's house to play cards this evening. And I thought I'd get this out of the way real quick. I'm not going to talk long. Uh, what I've got here today is the um, breadboarding one more time. Uh, it occurred to me that uh, what Wally was talking about was how the, the wires are hooked up on the breadboard itself to make the device work and such and such like that. Basically, uh, you follow the uh, schematic diagram uh, and hook up the wires accordingly like that. You just basically make the circuit or the uh, jumper wire is your circuit board and uh, hardwired, I guess is what you'd say. But uh, I'm going to go through this uh, this AM transmitter one more time uh, that uh, uh, Tanner Tech did, and uh, this is the one I demoed last night working, uh, and you've seen how well it works. And uh, uh, like I said, if you hook it up right, it work. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, Showing you some pictures of the uh, circuit or the uh, breadboard, and we'll flash between that and the uh, di circuit diagram, and we'll check off things as we go. This is basically how I do it. Uh, I'm sure anybody else can do it the way they want to do it, but I'm going to be talking on the uh, computer microphone, so that doesn't do real great, but I'll try to talk louder. <laughs> so we'll uh, get right into that, and hope you enjoy this. Alright, first off, what we're looking at here is the uh, diagram itself, and this is, was off the uh, website that, uh, uh, or off the video, I should say, of his uh, video that demoed this uh, device. So, I basically just made a screen capture and, and uh, put it on this, and that's what it, this is. So. so, what I like to do is, uh, I like to hook up the easy stuff first. The wires that are by themselves, just jumper wires from one pin to another, or from the uh, power to the uh, circuit board or to the uh, chip and things like that. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, breadboard and we'll see what we got with our rails and things. All right, what you can see here is the uh, rail at the top and the rail at the bottom. Uh, and when I buy rails, I'm saying the uh, things with the plus and the minus signs uh, by them and uh, the mark with a red line and a blue line on top and bottom and those are the power rails and what we're going to do is let me show you exactly how those are connected now you can see the one i've got marked at the, with the red line at the top is positive and the blue line at the bottom is negative and that's the way i hook it up you can do it differently if you want uh, there's two rails on top and bottom. You can use uh, positive and negative on the top or the bottom. I just like to split it up like this because it's just convenient for me. So uh, let's continue on here and let's show you what the what's connected to what. All right, uh, that now I have it outlined in yellow. Those uh, all are connected together. Those are the same wire, the same uh, potential, whatever you want to call it. They are connected. There is continuity between all those uh, things around the yellow uh, outline there. So that is what the positive does. And the same thing can be done on the uh, bottom, on the uh, negative. We'll take a look at that. So you can see that anything that's uh, connected to any of those holes there on the uh, bottom is going to be negative, negative potential, uh, ground, whatever you want to call it. And those are all common points also. So let's get to the next one and see what we're going to do. What we see now is the uh, chip itself, the NE555P, which is the timer chip. It is inserted into the uh, middle of the, across the valley there. Uh, that way I have uh, four rows on top and four rows on bottom that I can use to connect wires to. And I went ahead and put in the power wires to the power rails. The pin 8 goes to the uh, positive power rail and pin 1 goes to the negative power rail. Alright, now if uh, we go back to our schematic diagram, I like to check off the things that I have connected on the breadboard. And as you can see by the red X's there, I've, I've uh, checked off the power and the uh, ground uh, for pin 1 and pin 8. So that's what I usually do. You, got, you guys can do it any way you're comfortable with, but this is just, I'm just showing you how I do it. So next we're going to take off and uh, hook up the uh, wires that... Uh, I, I, like I said, the jumper wires that uh, 
don't really connect anything, any, any resistors or capacitors, anything like that. So let's take a look at that. So now on the uh, circuit diagram, uh, it was just pin 3 connects to the antenna, and it's just a, a single wire. So that's what I'm going to put on next. And I, as you can see, I have that in my diagram, or my uh, breadboarding, uh, the yellow wire there is connected to the, di to the antenna. And it's just a, a wire by itself is all it is. So let's mark that off on the... Uh, circuit diagram so that we don't get confused and we'll put a big X around or across the uh, wire for the antenna so now we can see the uh, next step is the uh, pin or the uh, wire between pin 2 and pin 6 uh, it's just a simple jumper wire so I like to put those in first so let's go to the breadboard and put that in alright now you can see I have the uh, blue wire in there that goes from pin 2 to pin 6 and that's just a simple jumper wire and that's all it does and we can move on to the next step but let's let's mark that off the circuit diagram for forget that all right that's uh, all of the uh, simple wiring next thing we're going to do is there's a simple capacitor to hook in there and it goes from the junction of pins two and six to ground and let's put that in now now you can see we've got the uh, capacitor in there for for ease of uh, just showing what it was. I've got it marked 0 .001. That's the same as a, a 1 nanofarad uh, capacitor. So uh, I think the next thing we're going to do is the resistor because it's an easy thing to do. It goes to that same junction. So let's show what that looks like. Alright, now you can see I've added the uh, 1K ohm resistor between pin 7 and pin 2, which again is, like I said, is the junction of pin 2 and 6. Uh, I forgot to uh, mark off the uh, thing on the uh, circuit diagram, so let's do that now before I forget it again. Alright, now you can see I've got it marked off on the uh, circuit diagram. The X is on the uh, 1K ohm resistor between pins 2 and 7. And again, I remark the uh, 1 nanofarad to 0 0.001. Mark that off with the red X. And I think the next thing we're going to do is... Put in the uh, simple capacitor pin 5 to ground. That's a 0 0.01 instead of a 0 0.001. And uh, I've remarked that on the uh, circuit diagram so you can see that when I get to it to mark it off. Alright, you can see our circuit diagram there is, uh, or not a circuit diagram, but our breadboarding has been added to uh, 0 0.01 from pin 5 to, pin, to uh, ground. And as I said, mentioned before, that ground goes all the way across there, so anything that's connected there is a ground potential or negative. And now let's mark that off the uh, circuit diagram for I it again. All right, now we've got that marked off on the uh, diagram there. As you can see, the red X on the uh, 0.01 capacitor from pin 5 to ground. Next, let's take a look at the uh, 10K resistor going from pin 8 to pin 8. <laughs> I'm sorry, from pin 4 to pin 8. Uh, let's see how that looks on the breadboard. Alright, now we can see the uh, 10K ohm uh, resistor, the orange wire, going from pin 8 to pin 4. Uh, we got to keep in mind all those um, little holes beneath the 4 there are all connected. So that's how we can get away with doing that. So let's mark that off on our circuit diagram and we'll continue with the next one. Alright. You see I have it red X now through the 10K resistor between pin 4 and pin 8. And now we're running into the uh, items that are a little bit more complicated to figure out how they're uh, wired in, I guess is what I would say. Um, so what we're going to look at here is the uh, resistor. It's a 1K resistor. It goes from uh, pin 7 to the uh, 100K pot. Let's uh, go ahead and put that in and see how we go to do that on the uh, breadboard. So what I've done here is uh, take the 100K ohm pot, put it out there in the right field kind of all by itself, and I put it in the middle of those jumper or on the uh, holes there so that I can get jumpers to it. And I install the uh, 1K ohm resistor front pin 7 to one leg of the uh, 100K ohm pot. Now you can see on the uh, diagram, I've got the X on the uh, 1K ohm uh, resistor that is connected to the 100K ohm pot. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and finish wiring that up next. So let's see what we come up with on the uh, 
breadboard diagram. Alright, if you paid attention to the uh, diagram, you notice there was a jumper that uh, connected one leg of the uh, 100K ohm uh, pot to the wiper of the pot. And as that you can see that blue wire now, that I think it's blue or purple, can't tell exactly what it is, goes from uh, that one leg to the wiper. And that was our next step in doing that. So let's mark that off on the, uh, well, let's not mark that off. It's not really a markable thing. So let's go ahead and put the other wire in, and we'll, then we'll mark it off. All right, we're seeing now that I put a purple wire in from the other leg of the uh, 100K ohm uh, pot back to pin 8. And that will complete our circuit, that, as is outlined in the uh, circuit diagram. So let's take a look at that. We can mark that off now and see what we got. All right, we've added another X on the 100K pot and also on the uh, 1K pot. So both of those are marked off now between 7 and 8. All that is complete. And I do believe if you look around here, all we have left is the uh, 10 uh, microfarad uh, cap that goes to the input. Let's do that next. All right, what you can see here now is the uh, electrolytic capacitor has been installed from pin 5 to who knows where. <laughs> I don't think the uh, polarity is all that important on this. It's just a uh, audio uh, coupling capacitor. And um, so I've got it installed with the positive towards the chip, but I really don't think it makes a lot of difference. So. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, add our last wire here, which is the uh, wire from ground to the audio input. And it just basically goes from the uh, negative bus down there up to the area that's going to be our audio input and we'll add our audio input uh, label and that will pretty much complete it except for marking the last two things off of the uh, uh, circuit diagrams and we'll do that and then we'll come back and take a final wrap up and see what we came up with. Now we've got our last two X's in place and if we take a look at the uh, complete circuit diagram we can see it, everything is covered and we have all the wires in and everything is connected as it should be. And so this is how you wire the Tanner Tech uh, 555 AM transmitter. And as you saw and heard in the uh, last video, it does work. And that's exactly, I, I do have one exception on that, on my circuit. I have an 8 and a half uh, K pot in place of the 100 K pot. I did get those uh, 100k pots in. I'm, I may go ahead and do a substitution and see if it works the same with that. I don't see why it shouldn't because uh, basically that's just a uh, adjustable uh, resistor and it's just adjusting the resistance between those two, uh, between eight and a half and and zero. Basically, is what it's doing. It'll just be the same way with 100k. It just it's just going to adjust the uh, the resistance. So. I don't see how that will make very much of a difference. So, you guys, uh, I appreciate you all watching this, and I hope you've uh, learned. And if, if you do have any more questions on this, uh, be sure to ask. Because, like I say, I'm trying to make this as simple as I can for everybody concerned, because breadboarding is about as simple as it gets in electronics, um, putting together circuits like this, because uh, you have. Uh, million varieties that you can do and just and have fun with it basically I mean it's just you can do simple stuff like light uh, lights uh, you can make railroad railroad crossing <laughs> uh, you know for model railroads things like that it's just a, it's a wonderful way to uh, experiment is basically what it is it's like the old uh, lab uh, uh, kits that you used to get as a kid and it's basically that and it's just a little bit even more than that so Anyway, like I say, I've all, here I am talking too much again, Marty, so shut me up anytime now. So you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'm going to try to do the same. I just got done talking with my daughter on text, and I'm going out there to left for six. Take some pizzas with us when we go, and hope to have a good time. And I hope she's feeling up to it. She's not been real good after her surgery, but uh, she is getting better, so I'm, I'm hoping this will be a, a fun thing for her too. So. You guys have a great night. We'll talk at you later, and we will see you.